a co-creator of Shogun Talks about the unexpected seppuku scene in Episode 8, and if Hiromatsu was aware of Toranaga's plot. Following the shocking events of Episode 7, Toranaga appears to be ready to give himself over to Ishido. In Episode 8, he gets his generals together to sign their names, apparently as an oath to die by his side. But while his most dependable general, Hiromatsu, performs seppuku, giving Toranaga the proof he needs to declare his intention to surrender and laying the groundwork for the next phase of his covered scheme to dupe Ishido into thinking he is surrendering, the situation does not turn out as Toranaga had hoped. Whether Hiromatsu truly thought that his lord intended for him to surrender, or was aware of Toranaga's scheme to trick Ishido, is left unclear in this shocking scene from Shogun Episode 8. To shed light on this, Shogun co-creator Justin Mark spoke with the official podcast about Hiromatsu's sacrifice and its significance. I believe there are numerous ways to interpret this scene. I can speak to what was played because I had the opportunity to work very closely with both the director and the two main performers. The actor playing Hiromatsu, Takuma-san, came up with a brilliant last-minute change for this scene. The three generals entering the room are wearing armor as a sign of protest at a funeral, which was a very common historical occurrence at the time. They are in this position where they are going to take a stand. Takuma-san also desired to portray Hiromatsu's decision to insert himself in order to save their lives. They wouldn't have to commit seppuku if he could stand up to his lord and die in their place. As a truly humanitarian gesture to these three men who have served him and Toranaya for all this time, he does it before they can. That's why there's a beautiful moment in the scene where Toranaga turns to face Hiromatsu, shocked that Hiromatsu did something he didn't plan for him to do. Furthermore, it's unlikely that Hiromatsu was aware of Toranaga's desire for these generals to commit seppuku as a way of demonstrating to his adversaries his true submission and lack of hope. But his most beloved general absolutely must accomplish it for that story to be flawless. Furthermore, I don't believe Toranaga intended to accomplish that. In Shogun Episode 8, it is confirmed that Toranaga has been preparing a complex ruse to trick Ochiba and Ishido into thinking he has surrendered, only to likely set them up for a trap. The next step in this strategy is for Lady Mariko to travel to Osaka in order to carry on with her own enigmatic part in Toranaga's grand scheme. Fans of Shogun should be extremely concerned for Mariko though, considering how many bodies Toranaga's scheme has already claimed. When Toranaga's son Nagakado naively attempted to fight his treacherous uncle Seiki in Episode 7, he tragically died. Next in Episode 8, we watched Hiromatsu perform his seppuku, a selfless deed that serves his purpose even though it was not part of Toranaga's plan. Although Toranaga has shown that he is more than capable of controlling those closest to him in order to accomplish his ultimate ambitions, triumph scarcely seems worth the cost as he continues to lose more and more of the people he loves in the process. Though it's improbable, Toranaga will continue as he works to make sure that the deaths of Hiromatsu and Naitakado were not in vain. Unfortunately, Toranaga's tenacity could result in additional agony for those who have fallen prey to his puppets in future Shogun episodes.